Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about Annex 4 of MARPOL which is Regulation for the Prevention of Pollution by Sewage from Ships. We will be discussing about the hazards of sewage, to which all ships does Annex 4 applies to, the sewage discharge criteria and arrangements and equipments present on board to discharge and treat sewage, special areas as per Annex 4 and the ISPP certificate. So let's get started. Annex 4 entered into force on 27 September 2003. Now before going ahead, let us understand what is sewage. The wastewater which is generated on board is categorized into two types. First is grey water which includes drainage of dishwasher and wash basins in galley, wastewater generated from drainage of cabin showers and wash basin, laundry drainage and refrigerator and AC condensate. And the second type is black water waste. Black water waste consists of drainage from toilets and urinals, waste generated from hospitals via wash basin and scupper located in the premises and drainage from cargo hold of living animals. So please note that regulations of Annex 4 are applicable to black water waste and not grey water waste. The discharge of sewage possesses a few hazards. The discharge of raw sewage into the sea can create a health hazard as it contains concentration of nitrates, phosphates and organic matter. Sewage can also lead to oxygen depletion making it difficult for the aquatic environment. Sewage can be an obvious reason for visual pollution in coastal areas which can create a major problem for countries with tourist industries. So to which all ships does Annex 4 apply to? Marpol Annex 4 applies to all ships which are 400 gross rate tonnage and above engaged in international voyages and to ships which are less than 400 gross rate tonnage certified to carry more than 15 persons. For treatment and discharge of sewage Vessels are fitted with some equipment and arrangements are made for the purpose of preventing pollution by sewage. So I'll tell you in brief about each one of them. First and the foremost is the sewage treatment plant. As the name suggests, sewage treatment plant is used to treat sewage on board ships. Inside the STP, the sewage is passed through various filters, it is aerated and the liquid collected inside is disinfected with the help of chlorine. The sewage treatment plant has to be approved by the administration. Next is the comminuting and disinfecting system. The comminuting and disinfecting system comprises of a grinder cum filter system which breaks down sewage into smaller particles. The filters present in this system separate the solids and liquid from the grinded sewage. This system also has to be approved by the administration. Next is the sewage holding tank. A sewage holding tank is usually fitted on ships irrespective of the treatment equipment available on board. The capacity of this tank is determined by the operation of the ship, its voyage and number of persons on board. Now we are going to discuss about the discharge criteria for sewage. Discharge of sewage is based upon how far the vessel is from the nearest land. When the vessel is within 3 nautical miles of the nearest land, Discharge of sewage is only allowed when it is properly treated in an approved sewage treatment plant. When the vessel is within 3 to 12 nautical miles from the nearest land, discharge of sewage is accepted when it is treated through an approved commuter disinfection system or by the sewage treatment plant. And when the vessel is more than 12 nautical miles from nearest land, it is allowed to discharge untreated sewage into the sea provided that the vessel is en route and proceeding at a speed of 4 knots or above and in this case the sewage shall not be discharged instantaneously it shall be discharged at a moderate rate. In January 2013 Baltic Sea area has been adopted as the first special area for sewage discharge regulation. It is the only special area for Annex 4. When a vessel is in Baltic Sea, the discharge of sewage is allowed only when the sewage is treated in a sewage treatment plant, even if the vessel is 3 nautical miles or 12 nautical miles from the nearest land. So the distance from nearest land does not matter. It has to be treated in a STP. Now let's gain some knowledge about the ISPPC, which is the International Sewage Pollution Prevention Certificate. 
this document certifies that the ship is equipped with appropriate sewage treatment and holding arrangements in compliance with Annex 4 of MARPOL. All ships to which Annex 4 applies require the ISPP certificate. This certificate is valid for a period of not more than 5 years. All equipment for discharging and treating sewage such as the sewage treatment plant, the comminuter, the sewage holding tank and the shore discharge pipeline and connection are covered in this certificate. The certificate shows basic ship details such as the name of the ship, its IMO number, gross rate tonnage, etc. and also details of equipment present on board for treatment and discharge of sewage. I hope everything is very clear to you which was explained in this video. Please like this video, share it with your friends and do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss a new informative video from our channel.